What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome to my rise to fame. Here we are at the end of season with Oldham. I was meant to be on this screen, sorry when I started that, but oh well. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it to you now, we get relegated, you can see our name there. We'll be, we'll be playing in League 2 next year. That's disappointing, yes, but I was only here for, I think it was 5 games. Uh, so I, I wasn't like expected to do much. Uh, an ironic thing here, Billericay fans want Edward's head, that's quite ironic considering... <laughs> the save I'm doing with Billericay, but anyways, move on to this, we didn't we didn't play too badly, and I think the, only, the best way to describe it is if, if we go into the fixtures, uh, I've clicked on all the wrong buttons there, and we go from when we took over, so we only had five games in charge, and we only won one of them, but I feel the club has got positive signs, and I think they can de we can definitely bounce back next season in League 2, so uh, my first game in charge was a 3-3 draw against MK Dons, this was a great match actually, we played very well up to a point, we did get dominated, and uh, we played in a way we played a way of football that allowed us to get dominated. But we managed to get our goals. We played quite counter. We basically sat players back, expected pressure on us, and that's what we got. We got pressure thrown at us from MK Dons. The fact that we conceded the goal in the 79th minute there with Jay O'Shea really was a kick in the teeth because we could have held out. Uh, at the end of the day, you see a lot of the ratings there. Players didn't really play too badly, and it was, it was a good start, really a good start to the campaign. MK Dons were around us at the time. So that was a good draw. However, we then went on to lose to Preston. And this, again, we played quite well. I'm not sure. I don't remember how I played in this match. Again, I probably played counter. Let them come on to us. Sometimes when you play counter, you'll find you get more shots, more possession. Things like that. Just because the fact that you're sitting back and just taking the ball and running forward quickly. The teams find it hard because they can play quite attacking football. And attacking is really weak to counter attacking football. And again, we played quite well. With the exception of Joe's backstone. But the fact is, we lost 2-0. And it may just be the fact that morale was low, and you know when things are things are going against you, you just can't seem to get a win, and that's what seemed to happen here. And I'll get, that was the main thing I needed to win. And the crew game, I really, really did need a win in this game. And just again, just lost. Despite match stats saying, you know what, it's an evenly fought match. We were doomed to three goals, one by Clayton in the first minute. I knew it was going to be a long game from then on. AJ Lex, uh, Lechik Smith then scored in the tenth minute, so. I knew we were out of the game there, so I thought, you know, we'll just go out there, try and do the best we can. They did score again, 52nd minute, but probably the worst game so far in charge, probably the worst game all season. The fact is, this loss did doom us to relegation. That was disappointing. We did bounce back, though. We bounced back and got our first and only win under my spell in League One uh, with a 2-1 win against Bury. Again, they were relegated already. They were 24, so it was a nothing game for both teams. We were just playing for a bit of dignity, a bit of pride, so... On my side, on my note, it's the first win in League One, and hopefully we can build on that. Maybe not next year, but the year after, if we can get back up. Uh, the team played very well. It was a great, easy win. Despite, again, match stats saying maybe they did have a few more shots, but I always felt we were in control, always felt comfortable. Took the 79th minute to get the goal with Scott Morton. He scored his first goal in X amount of hours. It was really stupidly long, how long he hadn't scored. So, um, that was good for him, and hopefully... Uh, the fact that he has scored a goal now, he can push that on into League 2 next year, because I think I'm going to be keeping him. And then the last game of the season, we lost 2-0 to Carlisle. But again, it wasn't really a nothing match. It was a nothing match. Didn't really care about the result. We got absolutely battered around the pitch, but it doesn't matter anyway. We were already doomed to relegation, so... The team finished off in uh, 23rd. I did join when they were 22nd. The disappointing thing was that uh, at a point, we could have easily have gone out... If we'd have got a draw against Preston, or even the win that replicated how well we did play, we could have done well, we could have been out. Let's, let's add three points onto what we get. There's 50 points there. And then we would have had something to play for in the last few games. So would have gone out the games a different strategy, a different tactic. I wouldn't have gone maybe as adventurous. I wouldn't have put certain players on the pitch. I would have maybe tried to hold out for a couple more draws. If that Preston game had been different, the whole table would have been different. I felt we could have maybe survived. But I knew it was going to be tough. I knew it was going to be a challenge on it. Even when, I, as soon as I come here, as soon as I look to the team, I thought, all right, who's going to be here next season? Who's going to be the player that goes, I want to leave, I want to leave? As soon as they go down, who's basically our best players? They're going to definitely want to leave. So, um, let's talk about that. So, I did. And uh, what happened was a few players said they wanted to leave, like Ye Jen Yevez Monvoto. Mav Mavoto? I think I said he said it. I just butchered that completely. But yeah, he said he wanted to leave. He's a great player, according to reports as well. He's a fantastic player for this level of football. Definitely a player I want to be able to keep. Although he's wanted currently, so I'm not sure will I be able to do that. But teams like Birmingham, who are a top team. Uh, another player that said he wanted to leave was Joe Bacter. 
uh, one of the best players at this fight by far. Ex Tottenham, of course. Ex Tottenham, ex Everton. Sorry, I always get uh, confused. Even when I originally looked at him, like off camera, I said ex Tottenham. And I was like, oh crap, Everton. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, he's a good Championship player apparently. So we definitely a player we need to keep. He wanted to leave, although I think currently, uh, he's 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 content to stay. I think like because they originally come out and say, um. I should totally take that off. They originally come out and say things like, oh, we want to leave, they hand in a transfer request. But after a while, some of them will stay, although sometimes I feel maybe it is better to get the clear out and have a fresh new build-up. So what this is here is the um, tactic I'm going to be playing next year. Maybe, or I may drop to this formation. I'm not too sure yet. It's either going to be a 4-1-1, 4 4 one one or 4-4-2, four, four, or a 4-3-1-2. It's going to be one of these three formations, definitely. I quite like this one, because the squad is uh, really adapted if we just look at the starting 11. The squad's really good for this. This is a strengthen on a couple of areas. I like Lewis Coop. He's got a good potential in him, so I may actually just play him. Of course, a couple of standout players, Joe's Baxter, as I just said. Adam Johnson, still going, still chugging along. Got some good stats. I think he'll be able to do a job in League 2, at least. Uh... Four goals, 17 games, not good enough. He was injured when I originally came, so I never actually got to use him last year. Goalkeeper is like I'd like to improve upon. Of course, we need a right mid because of certain transfer activities that ha that have happened, which includes uh, Jonathan Grounds going to Hibs for £600,000, in addition to Jamie uh, Hamill, who's a good player. He's going to Shamrock Rose 400 k but I don't play a defensive mid, so... I, don't, I was always going to sell him. Robbie Smith is going to Shamrock Rovers as well for 300, uh, for 450k, sorry, 110k up front, 325k over 18 months. So hopefully that can stabilise our finances with the relegation and all that stuff. So um, a couple of activities going out, but I think the squad, uh, the starting eleven, is good enough to get, get us back up. So, oop! I always I say a weird word. Get us straight back up, in the exception of maybe a few areas in which I want to strengthen on anyway. But the backup I'm happy with. Oldham have quite a good youth team, so I'm going to try and utilise that. We've got a few decent players, a few already in the starting eleven. So I think the club's got a bright future. I do think we can go up next season. Uh, if I look at League 2, I say players we'd have to look out for. Uh, of course, um, Oxford, Crawley, Leighton, Orient are going to be teams that we have to watch out for, considering how well they did last year. You always have to watch out for those who've missed out on the playoffs. I currently don't have Blue Square Bear opened. Uh, also, we're going to have to watch out for... People like Carlisle, Southend, them two big teams. I don't think Barry, I think Barry will slip down to a mid-table team next season because they just got dominated in this division. But that's it for it. That's it. it for now, guys. What I'll do is I'll see you back the first game of the season, if I can remember. If not, it'd be one month in. Either way, hopefully I'll see you back at the first game of the season where I'll show you my transfers, we'll do the live comm and all that good stuff. So until then, peace out.